Existing home sales fall for the 11th consecutive month, the slowest pace since 2010. All right, it sounds terrible, and that's why they want to get you on that terrible news. However, let's break the news down. The inventory has gone from 3.3 months in December of 2021 to 2.7, so we have less inventory. The lowest supply, according to CNBC themselves, is keeping price high. We had the highest price of any December ever on record, $366,000, up 2.3% from last December. Obviously, it's not double-digit growths, but from August to December, all they did was raise rates, and all that happened is prices continue to increase because of a lack of supply, which they even say. First-time home buyers, there's more of them in December than this year than there were last year. So don't tell me the rates are keeping away first-time home buyers. That's not true. Rising rents are pushing people purchase. Days in the market, oh, the days are longer. They've gone from 24 to 26 days, two days, excuse me. Come on, 28% of all purchases in December were cash. That's up from 23% in last December. So don't tell me people don't have money. Here's the other great one. Investors were only 16% of the market in December. Down, not huge, but down from 17% the previous December. So don't tell me that investors are coming in and keeping the prices up because actually less investors bought when prices increased. So just make sure you don't just look at this headline, but you read the article so you know exactly what's going on.